Till now, humans have been the most intelligent beings on Earth and we have completely dominated the planet. We don't even consider the interests of other forms of life. But will the rise of artificial intelligence change all this? Day by day, AI is getting better than humans in a lot of aspects. There is already a lot of controversy and widespread alarm about AI getting creative with all those art and essays. Many experts predict that if AI keeps improving at the current rate, it will soon surpass human intelligence. If that happens, will super intelligent AI consider us inferior and destroy us? So is there no way to stop that and is all hope really lost? Well, not really. Let's take a look. The term artificial intelligence refers to giving human capabilities like logical thinking and problem solving to machines. We do this by feeding it with huge amounts of data and allow them to find patterns and kind of learn from them. Many experts believe that AI will never surpass human intelligence. There is a lot of debate around this but they say that some parts of the human brain are just not algorithmic and it would be impossible to mimic or replicate. But let's say humanity does the impossible and finally creates super intelligence. We might not even know when a super intelligent AI beyond our control arrives. It will be incomprehensible to us. If an artificial superintelligence wants to deliberately destroy humanity, it would just need to exploit our biological weaknesses. You see, humans can survive for roughly 30 days without food and around 3 to 4 days without water. But we only last for a few minutes without oxygen. A machine of sufficient intelligence would likely find a way to eliminate the oxygen in our atmosphere, which it could do with some sort of self-replicating nanorobots or something. Once an artificial superintelligence comes around, doom could arrive in some strange and really unexpected ways. It would be close to impossible to control such intelligence, because we probably won't be able to contain these systems nor will we be able to predict the way these systems will respond to our requests once they emerge. This is what is known as the control problem. Once computers become super intelligent, they are going to have some very specific interests in mind. They may not be afflicted by classic human feelings like lust, envy and greed, but they may be driven by purely algorithmic factors. For instance, let's take a look at an AI whose goal was to win in a Tetris game. When the AI was actually about to lose in the game, do you know what it did? The AI simply pressed pass and kept the game frozen. The only winning move was to not play. The problem with super intelligent AI is not that it will rebel against us, but that it will do exactly what we tell it to do. The AI might vaguely misinterpret our commands, and this might result in something we didn't intend and can go catastrophically wrong. For example, we could make the request for an efficient means of extracting solar energy. A super intelligence might find an extreme solution to extract our entire planet's resources into constructing one massive array of solar panels. But AI in itself would not be evil. A lot of experts believe that such super intelligent machines would not have such human-like intentions. It will just consider us humans as a hindrance to its development. Let's say we want to build a road and there is an anthill nearby. We don't bother about the destruction of the anthill and still build the road. I mean, we don't have anything against ants, we just want to build a road. AI will fight with humans for scarce resources on Earth. Researchers say that it's almost inevitable that smart machines will win the war against humans. So are we really doomed? Can nothing be done to stop AI from wiping us out? Well, there are a few proposed ways, but none of these solutions guarantee complete safety. First of all, we should not give advanced AI the access to weapon systems. Come on, the point explains itself. Then we would have to physically limit such AI by putting it in some protected and shielded room or space. But for such superior AI, it could feel like it woke up in a prison built by a bunch of blind five-year-olds. We would also have to develop a physical off switch for such super intelligent AI or a mechanism kind of a containment algorithm programmed into it to shut down if it goes out of control. This whole idea can get useless very quickly. Designing such a switch would be far from easy. It's not just that an advanced AI could prevent the button from being pressed, it could also become curious about why humans invented the button, activate it to see what happens and render itself useless. And what if the AI has copied itself several thousand times across the internet? Imagine the damage it would be able to make. For this strategy to succeed, an AI has to be uninterested in that button. Somehow, it has to assign equal value to the world where it is not existing and the world where it is existing. 
Another proposed solution is to give AI human values and morals, not by programming them in, but by teaching AIs to learn them. This approach is what excites most researchers. If we could somehow pull this off, a powerful machine could refrain from causing harm or accomplish its goal in a way that doesn't violate our moral and ethical sensibilities. While a lot of people are skeptic whether we will ever be able to agree on a common set of ethics, some are still hopeful. You see, humans do have a lot in common, contrary to popular belief. Almost everyone values their right leg and we don't want to lose it. The hope is that AI might be taught to learn such immutable values. Creating an AI that doesn't share our interests would be a horrible mistake. AI would need to learn and appreciate humans less than the logical side of things. We would also have to make these AI systems completely transparent in their decision-making process. Systems would have to explain their decisions to humans in excruciating detail, so that we can step in if things get out of control. But even then, AI might misbehave and resist efforts by human programmers to fix errors or tweak their initial machine goals. I want to re-emphasize the fact that the ultimate goal of superintelligence is to develop AI that is cognitively as well as ethically superhuman. Let's see how that turns out. Not all hope is lost though. When people speak about artificial intelligence, they speak as if it's a phenomenon that is going to occur automatically. When in reality, we are the ones going to be creating it after all. So why create our own doomsday device in the first place? If superintelligence is possible, every single disease known to humanity can be eradicated and we will have the potential to solve all of our world problems. So the situation is kind of in extremes. But the question is, should we take such a risk? If you like this style of content, do consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the notifications. And I'll see you next time.